Me and my friends started the Ham Slammages team for our love of Yu-Gi-Oh. One of the best ways to rank a player nowadays and get clout is through the Dueling Book ranking system. And whilst not all of them play on Dueling Book, I have set myself the challenge to become the highest ranked Ham Slammage with my favourite deck, Giant Bullpark Insects. The bar is not set particularly high, so let's see how well we- hey, stop! Hello and welcome back. It's been a while. Um, obviously, a new ban list means a new format, and a new format means uh, a update on the dueling book uh, ladder. So we are back down to zero. If we go looking at our profile viewer, we are, you know, we're, we're 100 again, zero rating. Um, let's see if our if our competitors have done anything. They started a little bit. Um, <laughs> really rude actually I don't appreciate that language <clears throat> anyhow so we're gonna start this format with a some, some with, with some changes so I I've been listening to a bunch of people and I've been sort of talking to people about what what they think the proper you know way to play this deck is and I've had a lot of a lot of feedback and I've had a lot of opinions thrown at me so you know what I'm gonna try, I'm nothing but you know a servant for the people so I'm gonna try these opinions out and see how they go so, <clears throat> something I get told a lot is 47 is too many. 47, it's just too high. So we're going to try and cut the deck thinner. We're just going to try and thin it down and see what, see how that will help us out. So first thing we're going to drop is Ash in terms of hand traps. Because in reality, if you're opening, uh, if you're drawing six cards, if you don't draw it in the first five, it's not useful. If you draw it the sixth card, it's useless. At least Imperm on the sixth, sixth draw is better because you can in, like directly negate something on the field. Um, I've also had the opinion that this ratio of uh, normal monsters is too high, um, and I, I get it. You know, it's a normal monster; it doesn't do anything in your hand. Um, in the way I play it, you know, making Link Spider into Verti Anaconda, I think it's, it works okay. But you know what? I'm going to test it. So in reality, you should have. Uh, they, they say they, they reckon you should have three beaters and then a lower attack one <coughs> as a Gokapol target. Top things. So let's go with uh, the best boy, Gokapol. So, anything else we could change? 42 cards is quite good, honestly. Um, I'm thinking maybe we could add a couple of things. What are we missing, actually? Hang on. Ah, yes, now I recall what version of the deck. This was Underworld Goddess. I still like playing the Trap Tricks Ruffleesia, so I think we're going to put that back in. Of course, that means we need to add the Grave Diggers track ball. But I think, you know, it's not the worst thing in the world. Yes, it's a brick, but at the same time, we've just reduced our brick count by potentially five. So I think it's not the worst thing in the world. So that's in there. Uh, I've also been testing in the side, uh, just in the same round. I've been adding Harpy's Feather Dust into the main, just because we've got a lot of, you know, actual hate towards uh, combo decks, but not so much to back row. And depending on three lightning storms is not always the best so we'll put a harpy feather duster in the main but now we've got a space in the side so i'm going to put a going first card i think so let's add a skill drain now skill drain is an interesting one it's similar to how we put you play with heat wave in the fact that you can turn off the board um, and this deck can pretty much function as normal without his extra deck uh, all you need to do is then draw some high attack monsters, beat over, and that's it, we'll park them, whatever, we, you get, you're off to the races. Um, you know, if they pop it, you can then you know, make things, but other than that, I think it's it's a pretty pretty big thing. And in fairness, with once all the monsters are on the field, we can then make an Avramax, and Avramax is just still big, um, you know, 3k beta, and it's kind of hard to get for them to get over. So, I think... Is that everything we want to do? I think that's probably everything to test. I've been testing a couple like ra raising alphas to extra, you know, 45. Should we do that now? Yeah, why not? Alpha. I, t 
tend to always mimic my online decks with my real life decks so i do have I, i've just purchased a third alpha which means you know this is this is pretty much what i can play in real life right now um so I'm, I'm happy with that let's see how this goes so these are the games i i played the other day um for this video uh you might think oh wow that's quite a few games so you're gonna have to concentrate all of it all those um, no, actually, it's very dull, but uh, we'll, we'll get to that when, when we get to it. We'll start with Doot Doot 51. And now, so we've won the dice roll, which is always lovely. Um, so remind me what he's playing again. Ah, Goki, right. So Goki's a really interesting deck for the fact that, you know, three, four, five formats ago, it was fantastic, you know, start of 2018, 20. When exactly was it? Oh my god, I can't remember now. It must have been 2018 by now. Crikey, that's a long time ago. You know, this this was the most powerful deck, you know, uh, uh, extra linking your opponent and all that and ending up on ridiculous boards the whole time. It's just, it really was the most the most, <laughs> the most powerful deck. Anyhow, uh, unfortunately, he's just set one pass, which is lovely. Um, so we've uh, opened pretty well, actually, with an interruption um, bouncing with uh, Alpha, you know, access to the... To, you know, combos with parallel and uh, kaijus and stuff. Um, so with normal resonance, linked in Amaraj and he's at anti which is actually kind of annoying, if I'm honest. However, we can st we've can we still got lots to do. So we're going to obviously link into the Amaraj and use parallel. Parallel affects some of itself. Um, and then kaiju over the set monster, just to see what he was playing, because obviously he didn't have any information then. Um, so that's a little bit of information. I mean, in reality, as long as he hasn't got any hand traps, we know that we're going to win this one, really. Um, thinking about it, what... Ooh, uh, <laughs> thinking about what would have been a better shout would have been uh, into a uh, link uh, exceeding those into a um, what's the word um, Rafflesia just to protect us from a Nibiru or uh, an Ash or whatever um, obviously Ash not done a lot doing that a Nibiru probably <laughs> um, but yeah we just uh, I think we just kind of got greedy and thought you know we've got a Kaiju on the they've got Kaiju we can do some shenanigans um, but anyhow we've, we've obviously linked to the um the res residence insect and the amraj into uh, anaconda and uh, summoned our uh, alpha as well and then we're going to activate anaconda to make dragoon burn for two four and then obviously just hit for game uh so quite easy one but in fairness i think he did break so whatever uh next uh, next game we've drawn okay board clear or you know make it we can with the residence insect we can really do anything and a uh, form of interruption with nibiru which I think we've cited in here. Um, I don't know this deck well enough to know what's a good hand. Double summon seems interesting, but yeah, so. Uh, <laughs> either way. Anyhow, so normal Cobra and then special the Bounds Blood Spy and then uh, linked into an Isolde. And, you know, once Isolde hits the field, you can do really anything. <laughs> anything becomes anything, really. Uh, so what he's done here is then he's uh, summoned a um, uh, Guts and then... He's, um, I think, did he have the back, head back? No, he had added the head, added the head back or something else. And then he can then special that by discarding something. And then he's linked those two into a Rupidocus. And then he's making this into a winged beast. I, not knowing the combo, just think, well, this this is going to be a, uh, you know, a Samorg, uh, wind barrier statue situation. But anyhow, uh, so we Nibiru there, which I think actually in hindsight probably was a mistake. Um, so he's got this token. What else can we do? But in reality, because a because guts left the field, he gets to add a Goki Dart to his hand, and you know rematch is a very good can double re monster reborn, pretty good, eh? Uh, and yeah, uh, so he's rotated for a monster stretch, rematch the uh, Cobra and the headbutt. I think then to Link Spider. I don't know why he mains that, or, you know, in the, but whatever. Yeah, cool. Uh, so double summons out the Suprex, big. That was really big. <laughs> so then it's a special the Oxo stretch. Um, and then link the post four into an Appaloosa. Uh, so in reality, this isn't really a bend board. He's, so he's ended on an Appaloosa and a Super X and one set card. In reality, it's not massive, is it? Um, so we just started with a uh, Slumber to wipe the board. Get to ground zero again. And normal, our Resonance Insect. I think those in Panacona. 
added another uh, Godala. This, I think, probably is a misplay in hindsight. If we added the uh, Doomdozer, at least we could have done, um, uh, you know, follow-up plays. We could have add, made into a IP, or we could have made it into, um, you know, a Phoenix or something. So we could do something more interesting for sure. Anyhow, um, obviously we're going to activate Anaconda, and he's going to flip his Forbidden Chalice. So uh, we're going to eat the shit there. Um, <laughs> anyhow, we're going to swing for the damage, and I think re in reality though, this opening hand is not good. A, what, a, you know, a Goku Boar, a Squadder, and a Dragoon target is just really not very good. Anyhow, uh, he's drawn, he has obviously the rematch in hand, and he's activated as Summon 2 again, splashing another Resolve, uh, Resolve adding, well, getting both of his effects of the uh, Goku monsters which float into things and then another result effect to send uh, especially another guts making those into a borrow sword um, yeah and then linking into this new uh, code breakers shenanigans which basically lets you to churn out uh, a link to a link three and a link one anyway so we just we realize we're gonna we we'll die there so we don't bother anyway uh, next game we've drawn pretty well actually. Uh, as long as he summons monsters, which he has, we can do quite well with the alpha and, and, and stuff. So he is going to um, a normal super X, special the guts, make his old, add the head bat, add rematch, uh, add Scorpio after his old, special uh, Doctor Stretch, head bat dis uh, discarding to special. Link into Rick Redocus, and we, we haven't really interruptions, so we can actually see what the full combo is. So this is quite an early move, uh, move in the in the in the in the combo, which is very interesting. Anyway, so now we're staring down a dweller and a Samorg and a uh, what's my call it? What's it called? A um, wind barrier statue, which is going to be real nasty, I think. And yeah, he's made uh, he's managed to get out uh, three monsters, and then made a uh, Apollo wind barrier statue and a dweller. And a link rebirth, so we can't immediately smash over the barrier statue, which is actually really difficult. Luckily, we have a little thing in this deck called Mystic Mine. Yay! <laughs> so we slap that down, and there's not much you can do, honestly. Um, you know, uh, <sighs> there's really not a lot you could do. So for turn, we draw a Goku Ball. So I, I set the uh, slime burn in case he has some, you know. Uh, something to pop it by reality. I don't, I don't really get it why he's done that, but whatever, it's, it's on the field. Um, we, so we've normal the Goku Port and we just intend to smack over the Barrow Statue. Um, anyhow, whilst the Barrow Statue is gone, we can now slumber to destroy the whole field um, and give him the Big Kaiju, activate our ballpark, special uh, Alpha because he's controlled more attack, and then link it to IP, link, we, we're being a bit safe now, making sure that's not a uh, some sort of form of navigate. Um, anyway, so we've we've uh, exceeded the parallels into a tornado dragon, summoned our own kaiju, um, and then those into the anaconda, and yeah, making a dragon, obviously. So, what's interesting? So this was a choice that I thought was correct. Honestly, he's tried to forbidden droplets. Sorry, forbidden chalice. Uh, IP uh, in the standby. Um, I'm thinking in reality, I don't know or think this deck can get over a un uh, uh, untargetable and undestructible, well, indestructible uh, Aphromax. So we negate his chalice, and then we on the first opportunity we make a untouchable Aphromax. So he's going to go through his normal uh, combos, and I I know he's kind of he's reaching for a lot of stuff really right now. So he's made Borrow Sword. And I'm I i do not know whether he knows the interaction between Borrow Sword and Avarex, but basically Borrow Sword loses, which is great. Um, Riss was re uh, okay. This is really just the worst. So he's li he's linked two into a Phoenix, which is fine. He pops the ballpark because he's co-linked. Off the draw, he draws a Kaiju. <laughs> Which is just the worst. So Kaiju's over to our Avramax, which is, I mean, what can you do? Anyhow, uh, he, I think he forgets what the effect of Avramax being sent to grave by opponent's card, not effect, card, uh, is. So he shuffled back the um, Borrow Sword and 
he doesn't have any of my outs to a big dragoon and a kaiju. So in reality, we just win, which is good. Um, you know, um, I think we did deserve that. I think there's a couple of things which could be arguably better. Uh, in reality, the games that we didn't see, um, uh, ballpark, we did okay. But yeah, uh, we'll take that. So we're now going to speed run the next uh, one, two, three, four, five, six games because there's not much commentary to be had on them. So let's just watch them now. Um, we'll fast forward. We lose the die roll. We go second. Which is fine. Oh, no, we go first. Oh, awful. So we activate terraforming. You get ashed. So we red eyes fusion. Set one, pass. And he quits. Against what I think is actually a very good hand for him. But okay. All right. Um, next one. We win the die roll. We go second. Oh no, we win it. I can't remember. Anyway, we have the worst hand in the world. He disconnects. We li we win. I mean, it doesn't really count. It's Considering we're trying to test this, you know, potentially in interesting variant of the deck, or you know, slightly different to how we normal normal move play, this is the worst, the worst way for testing. Right, next one. <laughs> We've drawn not amazingly. It's against Earth Char. It's against Charmers. So we like to stall the back row, summon the Alpha. Normal resonance, activate ballpark, attack. Swing the alpha over. Swing for 6k. Link 2 into Pifalina. He kaijus. No, sorry, the Beerus. Banish 2. Sorry, banish to make Boondozer and then make into a Anaconda and then he quits. Wonderful. Next one. <laughs> this is like, honestly, it was like five or six in a row. We just all like this. It was the worst. Uh, so we've drawn, interestingly, Alpha, Lightning Storm, Red Eyes Fusion, Goku Pro, Dunoza. Interesting. It's against um, Eldritch Zoo. Uh, Maining evenly matched, which is I, an interesting tech. Why not? For sure. Um, eh? He exes into a Vespinato. I don't know why. <laughs> In this standby, he activates Akira and summons it. So we Lightning Storm. He then, when we're trying to activate Rider's Fusion, he tries to Akira, which you can't! <laughs> so, he just quits. It's, I just, you honestly, it's just like low rating. I don't know if people just don't care at low rating or whatever, but it's just. It's just annoying because we're actually trying to test some things, but anyhow, what happens in this one? They did, they did, nothing even happened. We said, good luck, we'll have fun, they just quit. <laughs> Literally nothing even happened. What are you, I mean, what are you going to do? That looks like an okay hand. At least activate prosperity and see what you can get. I mean, like, oh my god, just the worst. Anyway. I think in this one something does happen. So let's <laughs> watch. Ah, so this one's against PK Orcus. So something actually does happen in this game. A little bit interesting. So it's normal, normal scales. Uh, discarded uh, skeleton to send the cloak. Uh, cloak banished to add boots. Boots special summon. Lincoln Tribune. Tribune sends. Well, I think he must have misplayed it because he sent the boots. I think he just re reverts it, but. I mean, whatever. He's also skipped a few steps. I I really I, I watched this back a couple times. So I didn't actually notice this at the time. But Bernie out. I think what he meant to do is ascend on the scales. He's then Spanish the boots. You know, that was already engraved to set uh, fog blade, and then fog, and then obviously the scales summons itself. Anyhow. Um, oh, hang on. No, he must have cheated then, because he just added another fog blade off the boots. I actually have no clue then what he was playing. Unless this is where this is sent, you can. If this another, you can banish this. No, so I don't know where this third one has come from. Well, this first one's come from. 
Anyway, there's a link the Tribune and the um, Tom Scales into Bardish. And Bardish obviously is going to ditch Greaves to set another one. Fine. Then he's going to special the cloak. Uh, oh no, he's banished the Greaves. How is how is he summoned that? Okay, I'm now rewatching this and I'm thinking, what? How is he? So he's special summon cloak. Okay, does Greed Greaves must do something then? If a fan can die, special summon to the field when you special this card. You have a you can banish the card. Special. Okay, fine. It's Greaves. Right. Okay, we're 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 back on the course. Okay, fine. Anyway, he sets uh, a brigadine. Brigadine special summoning, and then he's. Oh yeah, yeah. So that's why. So Gre so Greaves banished itself to summon uh, one in hand, and then raises level by one. That's fine. So that makes them both level four, and then exes into a uh, evil sworn nightmare. So then he has sets three fog blades, one of which I don't know how he got there. Whatever, fine. But we've drawn Harpy's feather duster because we are a saki cunt. <laughs> Anyhow. So we actually got pretty nice against this. Really, uh, we can turn off this and we can normal summon this. And just bang. So we back row, destroy the back row, impern the nightmare, normal uh, squadder link into link spider just so we can get some damage. Um, then ballpark effect, so adding, bringing the squadders in. Uh, so then link two into a Picolina, and I've discarded the Doom Desert and attached the Gokapar. Now this definitely is a misplay, uh, because if we attach the Resonance Insect and then we activate Picolina to shuffle these three insects into the into the deck, uh, and then link these two into something else, uh, we can then actually add the we can add the Doom Desert back, banish the Resonance Insect and whatever we'd like, and then send Gokapar and get both both the cards effect. So this definitely is a misplay. Um, it's 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 always a difficult one to try and decide whether to attach the Gokapal or to attach the Resonance Insect. It's very dependent of what you got in your hand and what's on their opponent's field. Um, but uh, in, in hindsight, this is definitely this is definitely a misplay. Uh, I mean, in reality, it doesn't really add as much. We could probably linked into maybe a um, maybe an IP as like an extra thing, but. Uh, depending on the arrows, because I think these arrows are actually quite difficult to uh, navigate, honestly. But uh, anyhow, uh, so we just shuffle the, those three insects back into the deck, draw mine, mine off it, and then link those two into the barricade blocker. And then we've added the off the gokepole, we've added as techopede, and then we've banished the gokepole to summon it, and then link those two into the Alverte. He's then quit. So at least something happened. So that wasn't very interesting, now was it? Well, at least it was a quick, <laughs> at least it was a quick video. Um, anyhow, we need to update our uh, our things. Uh, oh, right. Um, I was just, I mean, six yeses though. Pretty good, hey? I mean, let's go, yes, 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 yes. Oh no, it's too long. That's that's not a bad record. I mean, we look at if we look at our, our viewer, you know, 19 wins, three losses. That's not bad. In fairness, if we if we take away the five quits from today, then you know it's slightly less interesting. But still, um, you know, we gotta take these. I was I was saying to some friends, you know, if this was a regional, you'd be off to the races. This is those would be class. But anyhow, um, so we've got we've got the 248 rating so far, which is you know. Okay, but we're gonna. I think we're gonna try and aim for 500 this format. I think it'll be really good. But um, yeah, that's uh, that's everything for me today. Uh, I think we'll give another week to test those changes up, just because we just didn't get to really test anything today. Um, but anyhow, uh, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you later, nerds. Bye.